Thank you for taking the time to spend a little time looking a little deeper into one of the hymns of the Polish National Catholic Church, arguably one of the most popular because it is played or sung more than any other hymn in the history of our church. At least that's my best guess. And that's because it is the hymn of the Polish National Catholic Church, the hymn of faith, hymn Viary, found on page 13 in our Tan Mass books and in the hymnal of the Polish National Catholic Church, hymn number one, Do Ciebiem Szyszli, To Thee We Come, To Thee We Come, To, that expression of movement, of motion, of direction towards a heavenly future, the word to. The, while though it is an old English term, it really means you. To you, we, we, all who are singing, all who are praying, all who are listening to this hymn, all those who have sung, all those who have played, all those have heard, and all those that will hear, sing, and play this hymn. To thee we, everyone, comes a movement toward, with added emphasis, towards the direction of Jesus Christ. To thee we come. Before thine altar. Whose altar? It's God's altar. Deuteronomy notes that the children of God were to offer their first fruits and tithes to the priest who is serving at the altar and say to him, I declare to today to the Lord your God that I entered the land of the Lord and swore to the fathers to give us. Then the priest shall take the basket from your hands and place it before the altar of the Lord our God. Whose altar? The Lord, our God's. Jesus, in his amazing and perfect Sermon on the Mount, tells us that, therefore, listen to this. It's amazing. If you are presenting your offering at the altar, and there remember that your brother has something against you, Jesus Christ tells us to leave. Don't go in front of his altar with a heart that's not right. To thee we come, O Lord our God, before thine altar. Thou knowest best our yearning hearts, and God does know our hearts. He knows our yearning hearts, our needs, our wants, and desires. He gauges our seeking of him from the bottom of our hearts. Yet while we are singing this corporately, we are assessing, uh, we are yearning individually just as prayers are collectively offered and yet individually in unison and harmony presented. This supplication, this referring to what we are yearning, and that is an answer. This supplication. Supplication. What an amazing word. Uh, not a common word. Not a word that should also ever be taken lightly. Because we can define supplication as a form of prayer, a call for help from God. The term bears a spirit of reverence and devotion, with it a solemn prayer. Although it is a noun, supplication comes from the Latin verb supplicare, which means to plead humbly. For us, a genuine supplication is an expression of authentic belief in God and trust in Him to answer our prayers. And who can? And whose altar? And who do we go to? God. An answer? That last word. Supplication answer. What our hearts are seeking. His answer. His remedy. His solution. His key to open the door. This response is both general and legal when continuing the old English utilization, answer, which would have been pronounced on Swayu, comprised of and swear, and swear. His answer has already been given to us, generally and legally through a new covenant with Jesus Christ. His remedy, 
his solution, and our Savior. That's the first four lines of the hymn of faith of the Polish National Catholic Church. To thee we come, O Lord our God, before thine altar, Father. Thou knowest best our yearning heart. This supplication answer. Amazing. Just wanted to take a little time to get us looking at these words one more time. Next time, we'll be looking at my all-time favorite hymn of the Polish National Catholic Church. Till a lot mi panya through the years unto thee, O Lord. The peace and blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, be with you now and forever. Amen.